in a world where math rules us all. Poor Mr. Tarver stands alone, teaching the class by himself. What will happen in today's episode of Math Ball Z? <laughs> Oh. That's good. All right. All right. Today's not very much to do. All right. We're talking about <coughs> pairs of angles. Okay. First one we're talking about is adjacent. All right. Adjacent is pretty easy. It just means two angles that are side by side. A D J A C E N T. It just means angles that are right next to each other. They share a line. This is why these two are adjacent. Right there and right there. These two angles. Adjacent. Next door neighbors is a way to remember it. Okay? That's adjacent. Alright? That was simple enough. Linear pair. Alright? To know what linear pair is, it's good if you look at the word linear pair. Okay? It's a pair of angles that make a line. That's it. These two angles right here, when you put this angle and this angle together, they make a line which means they also add up to equal 180 degrees, okay? So that's a linear pair. Good deal. Almost done. All day. All right, next one. <coughs> it's complementary. Okay? That means you say something really nice about the angles, all right? Like, so like beautiful. your hair looks really nice, or you look beautiful today. Not really, that's stupid. All right, fair enough. This doesn't look to scale, but... Complementary just means that whatever the angles are, they add up to equal 90 degrees. Okay? That's <coughs> complementary. So if this was 40 degrees and this is 50 degrees, these would be complementary. If, uh, if it says, like say the, um, the problem asks, say it says this. Say it says one angle is 25 degrees. And they want you to find the complement of it. You would just have to find the other angle that goes with it to make 90 degrees. So all you got to do is 90 minus that angle, and you'll find its complement, which would be 65. That's it. Okay? Now, if you know complementary, supplementary is not too bad. You just got to remember that it's similar, but it's a little different. Supplementary means they add up to equal 180. Means they're gonna when they're put together they'll make a line, but they don't have to be together. Okay, linear pair means they're together and they make 180. So they are supplementary, but they don't have to be a linear pair to be supplementary. Like these two aren't touching at all. But guess what? They are supplementary. So if you want to find the supplement of one, you would just subtract it from 180 degrees. Alright? Now, real quick, I'm gonna show you the way that people remember supplementary and complementary. Alphabetically, which one comes first? Complementary. All right. Which one comes second? Supplementary. Counting to counting, which one comes first? Ninety or one eighty? Ninety, and then one eighty. Complementary and supplementary. If you don't know that, you need to know it because that is pretty much one of the basic things in geometry, right there. Okay. One other way people like to remember it, and then we'll move on to the last thing. Complementary. Supplementary. Alright? Complementary has one P. Supplementary has two. Supplementary is twice as big as complementary. So 180 is twice as big as 90. That's another way people like to remember it. Last thing we got to learn today. These little guys, people have the most trouble with these, but they're not that bad. When two lines intersect, anytime two straight lines intersect, they make four angles. One, two, three, four. Angles that are opposite each other are called vertical angles. That one is opposite that one. It's called vertical angles. I'm guessing they call it that because they meet at a vertex, but not important. All right. All you got to remember is that vertical angles are opposite each other. The important thing is. Vertical angles are always equal. All right, they're always equal. So if this is 28 degrees, this one has to be 28 degrees every time. <laughs> no, it's not funny. Quit. Okay. Now that's 28 degrees. Now, obviously, using what we just learned, 
we can figure out this angle's measure from that. Because that makes a straight line. So we know it equals 180. All we do is subtract 28 from 180. Alright, we get 152. Now, if that's 152, what does the angle opposite have to be? It has to be the exact same thing because they are vertical angles. Alright, and they are equal. That is it for today. Go ahead. <laughs> In a world. <laughs> in the world. Er, we will never be able to understand this crazy math mumbo jumbo. But we can all find that numbers are important. And boring. And boring. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Find out. <laughs> we all know math is very long. Now it's even longer. <laughs> Examples after examples after examples. <laughs> Will it ever end this crazy math game? Find out on this episode of Math Ball Z. No. Alright, good deal. <laughs> Alright, now. He always says good deal. Uh, number one, it says it wants to find the complement <laughs> of angle E. Alright, they gave us that for angle E. We know complement means they add up to equal. 90. Okay? That's what we know they add up to equal. Now, we know that's one of the angles, and we're trying to find the other one. Okay? So we'll put in that. Plus, and I'll put uh, Y for the other angle. We're trying to find Y. That's going to be the complement, okay? Now, all I do is get Y by itself. Okay? So we'd have to subtract 7X from both sides. Cancel out, negative 12 plus y equals 90 minus 7x, and then we would have to get rid of 12, and we do the opposite of minusing, so we'd add 12. Cancel out, y equals 102 minus 7x. Now, that is actually as much as we can do, so we know this right here is the complement of that angle. Now, for supplement, okay, we know supplement, <coughs> supplementary is 180, so we know but that angle and another angle go together to make 180. All we have to do here, we can do it the same way we just did and set it up that angle plus an angle we don't know equals 180. All right, now we can just subtract that from both sides and we got our angle by itself. All right, that equal 63.5. Degrees. That right there would be the supplement to that angle. All we have to do is subtract from 180. Okay, you can type that in your calculator, but if you have to show the work, you don't have it. That's all you gotta do. Alright, so that's fine. Okay. Now, we know that angle ABD and angle BDE are supplementary. We know that means that they equal 180 degrees when they're put together. Alright? That little M in front of that angle, that just means measure. So the measure of angle ABD, measure of angle BDE, are given to us. All we have to do, all we have to do is put these two together. And how you put things together in math, you just add them. So we put a plus sign. That's all we're bringing to the table is the plus sign and then equals 180. Now if they were complementary, we would just put a plus sign equals 90. That's all we got to do. Now we combine like terms. Does anything combine with 3x? Yes, 7x. So 3x plus 7x is 10x. That cancels out. 12 minus 32, negative 20. Now, <clears throat> we get x by itself, so we add 20. 10x equals 200. Divide by 10, x equals 20. All right, now, if they're asking for x, we're done. If they're not asking for x, then we've got a little bit more to do, okay? Say they wanted the measure of both angles. All you do is you plug that in. 20 times 3 is 60, plus 12 is 72, so that's 72 degrees. 20 times 7 is 140, 140 minus 32 is 108 degrees. Those two add up to 180, to so check your answer, yes they do. So that works, and we are done.